Welcome back to Ladies First and another episode of More Than The Mirror. So recently, I've been facing a problem. Well, it's not my personal problem, but I've been receiving a lot of complaints from my friend Sherilyn, who has been facing hair loss and she has been bugging me non-stop about this problem. So I've decided that we will help her fix her hair loss problem. Today. So Sherilyn, you have been complaining to me a lot about your hair loss problem, right? No, I have not. Why would you tell them that? <laughs> Just a tiny problem, like a tiny. So, <laughs> as a good friend, I did some research to oh, try really? to help you on your hair loss problem. <laughs> Stop saying <Wow>. that problem. <laughs> so here is what I found out. Do you know how does hair loss happen? And like what are the causes for hair loss? I guess I'm getting old, maybe. <laughs> so the first reason is genetics. So mm -hmm. it can be passed from like either sides of your family. Mm -hmm. Like if like hair loss like is an issue, you it can is also actually. get it. Really? Yeah, my dad. <laughs> the, the second reason can be because of age. I think I'm quite young still. Yeah. Sherilyn is 20. 20 years so old. So I don't think it's an issue with oh age, God, I'm 20 but as you get older, like the more hair will drop. drop, and your hair will actually grows out like slower. The third reason is because of diet. Like if you're not eating well, your hair actually don't have enough nutrients to grow. Well, and like, Sherry has <laughs> always been complaining about how her hair is like not growing. It has been this length for three years. I cannot seem to grow it. <laughs> like every time it grows, it just falls. It grows and falls. It grows and falls. I don't want to give up my junk food though. And the fourth reason may be because of stress. Yeah. You know, if you have like a very exam and stressful period of your life, yeah. it also may result in extra hair loss. So actually when nearing exams, I tend to have like more hair loss than usual. So mm. I think it's because of stress. But as a student, we all have stress, right? How do I even cope with that? So the fifth reason is actually pretty common in girls who mm -hmm. tie their hair. It's actually when you tie your hair too tightly and then, you know, <laughs> it like strains your hair and like it just like pulls your hair back and it actually results in hair loss as well. I like to tie my hair so if you see my Instagram page it's all of me with my hair tied and I like to put extensions because oh, I yeah. wanted long hair so I guess the extension just weighs down my hair. Yeah, yeah, I think it makes it so worse. So it's like double pull. Okay. But I will never give up my extensions. My hair doesn't want to grow. It's not my fault. It's my hair's fault. And the hair is part of you. Yes. <laughs> and it wants to fall off because we do not have a very good relationship. I have right. to talk to my hair later. <laughs> yeah, though. <laughs> Alright, since you already know what are the problems causing all this hair loss, yeah. I have some solutions for you that might work. The first solution is actually to eat tomatoes. I don't really like tomatoes though. I just oh. don't like the whole tomato. But Do okay, you like a of bald hair or <laughs> of baldness or <laughs> Fine, I'll eat tomatoes if I have to. I don't think it really works. Okay. Hi, in what lycopene? <laughs> Lycopenies. Why, why tomatoes? Because it has a lot of vitamins and minerals that helps Ooh. your hair grow. Like how I mentioned earlier, diet is really important to have healthy hair. So a lot of junk food will actually make it worse. But is pizza okay because it has tomatoes too? I think it doesn't work like that. So the next thing is actually snacks. Oh, snacks. I like snacks. It's not your typical like bad snacks like chips. It's actually almonds. So almonds are also really really good for your hair and also like cashews. So if you want a snack mm -hmm. and try out healthier choices like almonds or cashews. I'm okay with almonds. Yeah. Especially the honey butter almonds from Korea. Does that work? I guess it does, but <laughs> no one like season one probably is healthier oh. lah. To help you, I actually went to Google other home remedies that you can try. Okay. Like with things that you can find at home, like even an egg. So you can use raw egg to like... Ew, it's just gonna stay. But if it works, it works, right? One more solution I have for you is to actually change your shampoo. And what I read online on Q10 is that there's this crazy shampoo that the Koreans have been raving about and it's called the Graphen Root Booster Shampoo. Ooh. So it also comes with this thing, it's called the Edge Finger and it's like a silicone like rubber thingy uh -huh. that you, you can like scrub your hair and like massage your scalp. You do it more. <laughs> So I assume that when you rub your scalp with this silicone massager, it <laughs> increases blood flow and helps to promote hair growth. Alright, so... Ta-da! Go 
back and be diligent and do your hair homework. Okay, I'll try, I'll try. I'm try quite excited. Best. Hopefully my hair becomes stronger. Yeah. Because it needs some help. Yeah, and I think... Stop it! it. <laughs> Stop showing! Okay, so go back and try it. I'll okay, try it see you in one week. Yeah, do it for one week. See because, yeah. Hi guys, so I just got home from meeting my friends and I'll be trying out the products that Debbie has recommended to me. Can't wait to try this out and I hope that it works because I don't know what to do if it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, I'll let you guys know what I think. Hi guys, so I just finished washing my hair and it feels so soft. I can actually run my fingers through it easily, which anyone with bleach hair would know that when your hair is wet, once you run your fingers through it, it will just fall out. But look, no fallout. I'm very, very happy about that. Today, I'll be trying out the Argan Oil Hair Mask that Debbie recommended me. And I'm going to leave it in my hair for about 20 or 30 minutes. See you guys later. So, I just applied Argan Oil all over my hair. I'm going to leave it in this shower cap for about half an hour. And hopefully, the heat will penetrate it and make it healthy and strong again. Hey guys! <laughs> what? So, so she's back after a week. How do you feel after your one week of hair routine change, you know? I feel actually very tired because I normally don't wash my hair every day. But for this video, I wash my hair every day. <laughs> I try to eat healthier, like I tried fish soup instead of Texas chicken. Yeah. Very good. And then I tried the almonds. Yeah. It was nice. I tried green tea. It was nice. I don't think it did anything for me, but it's hard to tell because yeah. it's only one week. And then I tried the raw egg on my hair. Oh, wow. It was disgusting. It smelled like, like I really don't like the egg smell, the raw egg smell. Like I'm okay with omelets if it's cooked. But just putting it on my hair is so gooey and like ugh. Oh, it's, it's disgusting, I, I tell you. Because I don't want to smell it. But did it help? Would you say that it helps a little bit? I mean, my hair was softer after the shower, but I will not do it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's just disgusting. <laughs> yeah, but what I really like most is actually the Root Booster Shampoo because it was very refreshing. And I love the Edge Finger Massager because it's like tiny little nails like scratching your head. Let's try to pull it <laughs> Don't do that. It's only been a week. I need to keep up. <laughs> So I know it's only been a week, so it's very hard to have any visible difference but I feel it when I'm brushing my hair or like even when people tuck my hair. There's like lesser hair fall on the comb and everything and on my tables and when I'm showering in the drain. So I think that it helps and I hope that if I continue you my hair. Have a lot of hair. Yeah, I'll be like you. So Grafen is actually releasing their whole range of hair products in Singapore and it's going to be available in Watson. So if you guys want to get your own set, remember to head to Watson to grab them. So they have kindly agreed to give away this whole range of products worth $115. So if you guys are interested, giveaway details are in the description box below. So that's the end of this episode of More Than The Mirror. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe. And like this video, comment below what videos you want to see. Bye! No more hair loss. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to get hair loss with you doing that.